And Dylan now in for Al this morning. Skies just opened up here on the plaza a few moments just ago. Just opened up. I mean, it, torrential downpours here in New York City. You can see it right up through here. That's going to move eastward, and then we're going to see some improvements before more rain redevelops later on this afternoon. With this cold front that is producing a lot of severe weather, especially down near uh, Mississippi and Alabama, where we do have uh, severe thunderstorm watches in effect. We also uh, had a tornado watch in effect just to the west of that, but that storm has now since moved through Mississippi. But as we look in this area in yellow here, this extends all through that I-95 corridor that a lot of folks will be traveling on today. Later on this afternoon into this evening and overnight, we have a chance of wind gusts over 60 miles per hour, hail up to two inches or more in diameter. And we can't rule out a tornado, although today is not really a huge tornado threat day, but it is all out ahead of this cold front. And as that moves eastward, those storms will move eastward as well. We could also see a lot of torrential downpours. And if a storm kind of trains over the same area, kind of passes through through the same area over and over again. It could create up to about four to five inches of rain in some spots. So Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, New York, especially later on today, we will see uh, some slow slowdowns on the roads because of that heavier rain, and this extends really all throughout the Northeast for today, Craig. All right, Dylan, thanks. We'll come back to you in just a moment. All right, thanks. Dylan. Why don't you look at the full forecast now? How are we looking? Well, we do have uh, the rain that we're expecting along the East Coast. That's going to be off and on throughout the day with more storms redeveloping. It is extremely hot with your feels-like temperature up around 100 and 15 degrees down across Texas. A couple of spotty showers through the upper Midwest, but for the most part, those won't uh, create a washout for today. You go out west, though, enjoy the sunshine and beautiful temperatures. That's a look at the weather across the country. We'll get to your local forecast in the next 30 seconds. Good morning again, everyone. It is going to be a hot one, and that has been the story down south for quite some time now. We have heat advisories, heat watch, even heat warnings in that hot pink color that includes Brownsville, Texas, Laredo, Texas, Houston, San Antonio, too. Temperatures are hot, up around 100 degrees, but when you factor in all that humidity, it's going to feel like 116 degrees in Brownsville today. 111, your feels like temperature in Houston. But then you go over down into Florida, Miami is going to feel like 103 degrees. So it is exceptionally hot down south along the Gulf Coast, including Florida, too. We could see nearly 30 record high temperatures today with highs up in the 90s to triple digits out there, especially back across Texas. And then as we go into tomorrow, we're still continuing with the heat. Corpus Christi, Baton Rouge, both in the mid 90s and even getting into the middle and end of the week. Temperatures still in the 80s and low 90s. So it is going to be hot all week long. That's a look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your window. This Monday, Dylan, good morning. Good morning, guys. The storms have been so violent, and we knew Saturday and Sunday we'd have those tornado outbreaks. Today, we're still going to see some storms, but uh, there is a lesser chance of seeing tornadoes. We had some torrential downpours move through New York City. Those are continuing to move eastward, exiting southern New Jersey. More severe storms, though, are possible later on this afternoon as a cold front slides to the east. So we do still have severe thunderstorm watches in effect, especially uh, down near Alabama into uh, Georgia, too, where we could see torrential downpours in addition to the cloud to ground lightning and the hail and the damaging wind gusts. But it's this whole area in orange, which unfortunately includes the entire, almost the entire I-95 corridor. So for folks trying to travel later on today, keep in mind that there will be a lot of heavy rain out ahead of this cold front. So that could cause uh, some delays on the roads and even air travel too. And then those will exit as we go into tonight. And we will start to see some improvements. But again, if you're traveling in D.C., Philly, New York, even up into Boston, we're looking for a lot of that rain and also those gusty winds too and then for the interior northeast we could see as much as two to three maybe even four inches of rain if you do get stuck in some of those heavier downpours laura all right dylan thank you for that check back in with you in a little so harrison is a very special 11 year old boy but he's, he said his work's not done yet his partner pacific historic parks they tell us that they're going to use that money to get a team of engineers and designers to work with Harrison, of course, mm. uh, to develop a, a virtual reality program about the Pearl Harbor Memorial that's specifically designed for children. And if you'd like to learn more about Harrison and Harrison's heroes, just go to our website, today.com. He's going to save us all. Oh, yeah. no question. Let's talk about that in school. So then he is introducing mm. so many young kids who maybe didn't know the story. You are correct. It's, it's really special. In fact, his mother said that some... You'll appreciate this. We were chatting about things he does outside of, of this. Mm -hmm. He picked up golf at the age of three, Good of course. Wow. And last year, you know what he did? Hold in one. No Hold in one. Of oh, course. yes. Of course it is. Harrison <laughs> of us. Yes. Yes. So, we so, need yeah. more kids like that. Yes. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you for that, Craig. Yeah, thank that you. That was so nice. All right, another check of the weather. What do okay. you say? Let's take a look at what's going on. And that's your latest forecast. All right, Dylan, thank you for that. Now, Joe, you got 
Carson's pop All episodes of The Bear will be available to stream. It looks like he got out of the freezer, too. <laughs> That's <laughs> I did wonder about that. <laughs> just, spoiler just alert. Spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. Spoiler. It's okay. All right, next. And in black, Johnny Cash's classic takes second place. Take a listen. Uh, yes. All right, guess is on number one. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Dolly Parton. It's got to be Dolly Parton, which means it's got to be. Top three. Yeah. That list made sense. Not like that Apple list we featured last week. What was it? Top 100 songs or something? He disagreed. Oh, All right, we got a list. Craig Melvin likes. It's a good list. There we go. All right, next. I don't think she sleeps. No, of course not. And it's new music. And who wants to go to the Four Seasons? Me. There we go. All right. All right. Finally, we've got Jelly. Pop right. start. All right. Thank you, Joe. Good one, Joe. Straight ahead, they are stumping audiences all over the country, and the magicians from the show start. Bobby kind of is going to sit down with him. To crowd. Okay. Love the energy. Um, we got some magicians here. They have a hit show. It's a lot. I am. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't like, I don't like surprises. No, I know you don't. <laughs> All right, and then coming up are the days of fish and chips number. I can feel the drizzling coming. It's just humid, humid. right? Yeah. Sticky. You just kind of feel it, but it's not pouring like it was moments ago. And uh, we <laughs> the best. I have a way with boys. Yeah. Little yeah, you do. baby you, boys. You have some experience. Yes. yes. All right, Dylan, thank you for that. Next, we are catching up with actor Bob.